All right, guys, we got a Mercedes uh, W204. And as you can see, it's uh, completely apart. Customer called me out. They said this car was had a dead battery. The customer called AAA. They jumped it. They jumped it backwards. Fire, smoke. Um, towed it to the dealer. The dealer said it was a, uh, let's see here. Uh, here it is, the information from the dealer. And in the end, they said it was the uh, one of the boxes, $600. The main little uh, fuse box right there where you can jump it was burnt. They replaced that. Um, car still did not start. The mechanic um, then swapped the fuse box here, thinking it might have been that. It was not. Uh, so then came to the conclusion that it might be the ESL. He, as you can see, pulled it out, pulled it apart. And we do have an ESL error in the system. So the car will not um, crank. We get a the classic, uh, let me pull the key out, in, take your key from the ignition, nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and program the uh, emulator. All right, we're gonna go to Emo, Mercedes, expert selection. EIS tools, read EIS data, OBD on vehicle w204 there we go i'm gonna save a screenshot of that and yes it's gonna save the data we're gonna use that later 966 let's do it last of the vin escape escape get that glare escape escape get password add key on vehicle w204 Begin. Okay, okay, we already have the key in. Pull the key out. Okay. Insert the key. Okay. All right, we don't even need to do that. We just insert it into the programmer. There. So, okay. Okay. Do need internet for this. Let me connect mine up. All right. Yes. And here it goes. We're at currently 1149. I'll bring you back. All right, guys. Back. Took right about seven minutes. And we got the password, as you can see save that and now we're just going to connect up the emulator and the cable and we'll be ready to go all right here we are back at the vehicle we're going to plug in the emulator and if there's no fuses blown it should crank up guys i actually made a whole footage um of programming the emulator on the bench uh, with the emo data so you don't even need to be at the vehicle or have any other equipment as long as you have the emo data somehow all of that got lost that video got lost but um i've got many other videos on this process like and subscribe go back and check my other videos if any of the things i were doing were too fast i've got it on other videos pause rewind watch it again if you need to um and don't forget to um click that thumbs up button guys all right so we got the emulator plugged in now let's give it a go key in Like ignition is coming on. Yeah. So we got a no crank. But the ignition does come on now, guys. So that is a success. I'm gonna diagnose further this vehicle and find out what's going on. Actually, I didn't do anything, just gave it another go. Got a crank. It started and shut off. Might have some kind of fuel issue. Let me try to give it gas. All right, guys. Code showing to be the fuel pump control module, and it's not online. So we're going to check the two fuses related to it, which is going to be this 7.5 number four. I checked it; it is good. And this uh, that one right there, that one is good. <clears throat> but coming to the back, here's what I did see. There's also a 20 amp 
that gives power to the pump here. And as you can see, let me show you on my test light. I've got a hybrid test light here. If you haven't seen this, check out my um got regular bulb and I'm showing positive and voltage is at 11.4 now we go to the other side of the fuse and nothing so this fuse is blown guys so we're gonna replace this fuse to 20 amp there it is I pulled it I don't know if you could notice right there it is blown so here's a replacement 20 amp let's try it all right it's in power there power there it was a bad fuse okay so let's see if we're lucky it okay. didn't you didn't hear it huh yeah that was it got lucky thumbs up guys click that like uh thumbs up button like and subscribe see you on the next one